Okay, here we have another video brought to you by Squarespace. And I have to tell you, I recently started doing something again that I had stopped doing for a long time. Something pretty expensive. Going to the dentist. I have gone twice now, recently, in the past month or two. First, for like a checkup. I thought I was going in that time and then they would do all the cleaning. But I had, hadn't been in so long that they were just like... We got to do like a hundred x-rays and then they started doing this thing where they were measuring my gums and I kept on expecting them to tell me what all these measurements meant because they just kept on touching three points on the gums of each tooth and saying like three, three, four, four, three, two, two, three, two, stuff like that. Three numbers for each tooth and then... That was one of the dental hygienists doing that. And then the, the de actual dentist came in and she was like, how are his gums? And then the dental hygienist was like, lots of threes and fours, not too many twos. And then the dentist told me like, ooh, okay, that's good. Got to watch those twos. And, and I was just sitting there like waiting, like, are you going to tell me what these numbers mean? Is it like, are these millimeters? Is it like a rating from one to five? Is, I'm guessing two is bad. One is probably worse. Is five the best? I don't know. Anyway, so my gums, lots of threes and fours, FYI. Anyways, I went in again yesterday for my first cleaning in probably two or three years. I had, look, I, ha I have a bit of a dentist phobia. I, teeth freak me out in general. You might notice sometimes teeth and teeth looking things pop up in my drawings. Uh, I think it's because they're just kind of lurking there in the back of my mind, not t physical teeth. I do know sometimes people have teeth growing in weird parts of their skulls and it can cause problems sometimes. I think I have teeth growing only in mostly normal spots in my body. My sister did have one extra adult tooth growing behind one of her other adult teeth, which posed a slight problem. Also, I had a friend growing up who had to get like 17 teeth removed because he had so many extra ones growing in. He had two rows of teeth, like a shark, and that freaked me out a little. Anyways, anyways, I went in today for my cleaning, my first one in a long time, and I tried to distract myself from the impending doom of the dental hygienist's scraper and poking and flossing by trying to use my mind to flip the light switch on the wall in front of me across the room. I thought, hey, we're both here by both, by we, I mean me and the light switch, said, hey, we're both here existing in the same physical world. I shouldn't need any sort of magic or supernatural powers to flip this light switch with my brain. Obviously, option number one that I know will work is I can use my brain to give signals to my nerves and muscles to make my body move over there and move my arm up and flip the light switch, okay? I know I can use my brain to flip the light switch that way, but is there some other way I can... Like I, I know there's molecules, like air molecules between my brain and the light switch. Maybe there's things like, there's certain radio waves, things in the electromagnetic spectrum I can't see. I was just trying to slowly take stock of all the things I know exist that maybe I could use. Like what's in my arsenal here? Like can I, and, and then there's things moving around in my brain like neurons or something. I slowly realized I don't know exactly what I do have to work with here. Maybe if I thought the right kind of thoughts, felt the right kind of feelings, had the right kind of mental reaction, maybe like enough neurons would slam forward in my brain and it could kind of create some sort of chain reaction through the space between my head and the light switch, which could flip the light switch. That's really as far as I got. I, did, I was staring very intently at the light switch and some other lady came in and sat down and I probably looked like a crazy person or some sort of, I don't know, maybe she could see something happening in the air between my head and the light switch that I couldn't see. That would be cool. Maybe I almost had it and I didn't even know. Maybe I was so close to doing it and then the lady walked out and was like, Peter, come into the room. You know, who knows how close I was. Probably very far away, I know. But you, on the other hand, are very close to having your own website. If you use Squarespace, you can easily set up your own website. Just start dragging things around. 
You don't need to know any sort of programming, but if you do know programming, you can utilize that skill as well to further customize it. Basically, wherever you're at, Squarespace will meet you there and you can make a beautiful, functional, and professional looking website to do whatever you need to do. Maybe you just want to show off some of your art. Maybe you want to sell some things, get a business started. Even if you're selling things just in person, your Squarespace website can help manage your inventory and it updates automatically as soon as you mark something sold. So go to squarespace.com for your free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. So I went into the room set aside for me. I sat down in the dentist chair and it began the, the assault on my teeth. I don't know if dentists, these dental hygienists, they maybe they've never had their teeth cleaned. But they had to have. Isn't the whole process, don't they, maybe, they, I feel like they've had their teeth cleaned more than anyone else because don't they practice on each other going through school? Or maybe they practice on other people because I have heard of people who get their teeth cleaned for free because they let students do it to them. Anyways, immediately, uh, the dental hygienist started this terrible scraping. There's a lot of poking and prodding of my poor gums. And I, like, I'll admit, a lot of this pain is probably my own fault because I think your gums uh, become more sensitive when you, when you do a worse job at keeping your teeth clean. But she immediately started this terrible, terrible scraping away at the protective layer of tartar and plaque that I had so diligently built up on my teeth. The scraping was terrible. It's like a, she might have had a pickaxe in there getting away at it. And then, and then the flossing began, which I feel like sometimes she was even winding up. Like she would place the floss across the top of the teeth and then maybe like kind of wind up like someone does when they're splitting logs, lift the splitting maul up over their heads and then down the floss would slam onto my poor tender gums. <sighs> Sometimes I felt like I felt this twinge of pain that would go up from my teeth, through my head, down my neck, and all the way down my spine. Thankfully, it only happened a couple of times. I did have this one spot of like kind of slightly inflamed gums around one of my teeth, which goes away if I like swish hot salt water at night. And I kept on expecting them to be like, hey, you have some slightly inflamed gums here, but they never mentioned it. So I don't know. I should have asked about it, obviously. Okay, I probably talked about teeth way too much. <sighs> Thanks for listening. I, I just had to get it out, okay? I'm verbally, vo verbally processing here. And, uh, yes, okay. Also, before, I had been freaked out about Dennis because the one who said that I had nine cavities had actually gave me ten fillings, and I didn't know if I was just getting scammed. Uh, but at least this dentist said that, like, the fillings actually looked, like, really good, like, well-done fillings. Like, so maybe that made me feel a little bit better. So... Who knows? Anyways, bye everyone. Thanks for watching. Hope you feel better about your teeth than I feel about mine. Have a good day. All right. See you later. Brush your teeth. But look, also, I feel like soon we should be able to get to the point where maybe as, maybe when you're like 15 or something, there's got to be a sweet spot after your baby teeth fall out, you've got all your adult teeth, and your mouth has stopped growing, right? Uh, when let's just take all the teeth out one big operation where instead of getting braces, we just give everyone a full mouth of fake teeth that don't rot. They don't decay. They don't get cavities. Well, is this anyone, is there research going towards this? Shouldn't this be a goal? Maybe all the dental, uh, you know, companies are fighting against it because then all the dentists would be out of a job. I mean, obviously you would still have to brush your teeth because your fake teeth could, um, they'd still get dirty and give you bad breath and affect your gums. And 
I mean, you, st you still don't want to walk around with dirty teeth, but at least they wouldn't decay. It's so, it's so much bothers me that my, I have these bones in my mouth that are rotting as I walk around. This has got to be possible, right? I mean, people get fake teeth all the time, like dentures or whatever they're called. Are those removable? I don't know. Anyways, all right, goodbye.